All the life you see around you had a beginning. A beginning that happened, 635 million years ago, frozen in stone. You may think dinosaurs, but these guys came much later. The very first life was simple, they didn't need to hunt, so they had no teeth, and they didn't need protection so they had no shells. These were known as the Ediacaran biota. They were soft-bodied organisms similar to the jellyfish and sea anemones that we see today. At 540 million years, almost 100 million years after the Ediacaran biota appeared, something called the Cambrian explosion happened. This was an explosion of new life. Suddenly they went from simple to complex organisms. They began to hunt, so needed protection in the form of a hard exoskeleton or burrowed into the ground. The Cambrian explosion marked the age of newly evolved life, however it also marked the extinction of the Ediacaran biota. The most likely debate regarding their disappearance is due to being outcompeted by the Cambrian organisms. They had no natural defense against the new complex organisms, so eventually died out. But how do we know this information? The answer is found in rocks and fossils. Rocks have little elements inside of them, that can be dated by their radioactive decay rate. The more particles they lose, called daughter atoms, the older the rock is. Fossil dating uses the same method based on what elements are inside the fossil. For example, a mammal that lived during the Pleistocene epoch called a Diprotodon optotum, has a skeleton containing the isotope carbon-14, so radiocarbon dating is used to date the bones where carbon-14, which is the initial parent atom, decays to nitrogen-14, which is the daughter atom. An easy way to think about the decay rate is to imagine a pizza. A whole pizza represents the initial parent atom. In one minute you cut it in half. This means one half-life of the element has passed, where half-life means the amount of time it takes for half of the parent atom to decay into daughter atoms. Another minute passes and you cut the pizza in half again. Now you have four quarters. Based on how many daughter atoms there are, it tells us the age of the object. But be aware, different elements decay at different rates. So instead of one minute, some elements might take ten minutes to be cut in half. The animals you see today have undergone evolution for thousands to millions of years. But frozen in stone, the stories of millions of years are preserved, to show us a little more about what kind of life once walked our Earth.